What's up guys, this is Crook for Money. Welcome to my how to speedrun tutorial, I guess you could say. Of course, the main page I'm gonna like feature San Andreas, I guess, for the fuck of it. Um, so what you would do is you go on speedrun.com, main page, whatever, doesn't really matter. Go on resources. Though I could just like include this in the description so it's a lot easier. But if you just want to know just for future reference, you don't have to look up my video and all that. Just know that everything that you need is in the resources section of speedrun.com. So anytime you like somehow need this information or some shit there. Um, so what we have is we have Coco Split streaming software. No idea what the fuck that is. OBS, um, of course you should already know what OBS is, I have a tutorial about that and all that. Um, OBS Studio, it's the same fucking website. XSplit, for if you want to spend money to stream, I guess. Um, and then we get into the timers, as you can see here, it even says timers. So, there's live split. Time split tracker. I've never heard of that. And W split. I can show you these two. I can't show you the time split one. Um, though I don't really care to show you because I'd probably never use it. But uh, yeah, you just download this or this. Just go to live split. There. Live split.org slash downloads. Download live split. Don't download the development build unless you want to help, like, make live split better, I guess. Um, you can see what the timer looks like on the main page. Looks like this. Um, it'll tell you the features and all that. And, uh, here's like a fact as well. Um, how do I develop an auto splitter? Things like that. I could probably use this information to be honest once I get a better PC and I can actually use auto splitters without my PC exploding. Um, reporting bugs, open source, this is mostly about like things that are more advanced than what you would actually know, so that's interesting I guess. Let's just get out of that, fuck that shit. Um, so this is live split. I'll show you guys W split as well. Here, we'll do W split first. This is W split. It's really, really simple. If I can get it to open. There we go. This is W split. You press spacebar and the timer goes. You press spacebar again and the timer stops. Well, actually it pauses because I could just do that um, I don't know if you can actually add splits to this yeah you can you can add like splits <clears throat> I don't actually know oh wait that's how you add splits here let's just save that um, that didn't really do anything wait save Maybe it's because there's nothing there. I don't know. I don't know how to use life split. I don't use life split, so. I just showed you what it looked like. Let's, let's just get out of that. Um, but what I do use is um, live. Wait. I think I said live split. I meant W split. What I do use is life split. So. This is life split. This is what I see. Um, I'll switch to another scene and then like you can see like it looks like that the reason I can get the thing to look like that when it actually in fact looks like this is because I use a uh, chroma key to uh, to allow me to put a picture behind this and you can see it that way you can also do something like this um, well, I could show you the splits first. If you type in a game, just say Grand... We're just going to go back to Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft 
that should be enough. Now it'll pop up all of these games under Grand Theft, and then Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, you can even do OHKO. And then it'll say what the categories for OHKO are, all there is is any percent for that category. So let's say San Andreas, now you'll see that there's more categories, any percent, all missions, 100%, all tags, snapshots, horseshoes, oysters, all collectibles, 60 stunt jumps. So it even includes like the, it even includes the miscellaneous categories in the list. <clears throat> and then that'll uh, allow you to see like if you have world record thing enabled, it'll show you that uh, what the world record is for that category. Um, you can make your own run category title as well, and it'll just say unknown world record if you have that world record thing in your splits. But uh, every now and again we do like Los Santos races, so just put LS% percent just to let people know that it's Los Santos. Um, you can have your attempt counter, it'll say how many times you've attempted um, a run, which is basically how many times you reset. Uh, start timer at... We generally want this at zero because uh, just like should be self-explanatory. Um, auto splitting is available by Taduva. This game specifically has an auto splitter for a uh, live split, so you can activate the auto splitter using live split itself. You just press activate, and then. This is interesting. I've never actually looked at this before, because I don't use auto splitters, but yeah, it's a lot of information. Um, looks like they put a lot of work into the auto splitter. Um, generally, you want it to start automatically as soon as you start the game. As soon as you gain control, the timer will start itself. Um, anytime you split, say you're on. Um, big smoke. Like if I t if I untick Los Santos, it'll untick everything in Los Santos. So you'll see all of this is grayed out now. Or you can untick like Ryder. You don't want it to split on Ryder for some reason. Um, it even says main missions any percent. Apparently you can use this for collectibles as well. So you can turn collectibles on, and as soon as you get all the photos, like let's say this, it'll split. So that's pretty interesting, you can use this for like, a lot of things apparently. Like there is, there is a lot of stuff in this. Um, if you reset the game and you have this ticked, it'll reset the splits and then it'll start again from the beginning, so that's good as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. <clears throat> of course if you don't want to use the auto splitter you can just deactivate it. And then split yourself. But uh, if you run San Andreas, generally I would just say activate it. Like there's nothing hurting it. It's more accurate than a human could be anyway. Um, when it comes to splitting, so you'll have more. Uh, you have more consistent gold splits. We're not even more consistent, but you'll have like real gold splits and whatnot because you won't be like half a second off when you hit the timer and all that. But uh, you can see like these are the what we would call gold splits, the best segments. So the best ever segmented uh, Big Smoke I ever had was 308 apparently, on PC anyway. Um, I split really weird as well, so like these gold splits aren't even like technically real. Because I, um, I split differently than other people, but if I use like the auto splitter like I would have more like accurate gold splits. Because after every mission passed it would split then. So that's another reason why you'd want to use the auto splitter if there's one available. Um, how I get uh, all of these, like Rider, Big Smoke, and all that, <clears throat> I actually downloaded this from a, a website called splits.io or something like that. And some people include like the icons and stuff. Like none of these icons are saved onto my PC. This was just like it came with the splits. Um, I think I downloaded like Josh's splits or something probably. That's generally what I used most of the time. So uh, there's that. Um, I also use... I also use... Uh, what's this shit called? 
I use fuck dude sub splits sub split layout so whoops so uh let's find any percent this is what sub splits are so I'll just show you real quick how do I skip splits um, so yeah if you if you're like not using an auto splitter and you like forget to split then you can just skip a split so it doesn't like create this uh this fake gold like that that's really fucking fake like that isn't real so you can like unsplit it and then split it I have hotkeys so like you can't really see what I'm doing but we're gonna skip all these splits and then that's what and uh that's what a sub split is it'll let's say like I finished Los Santos in 40 seconds which is unrealistic but for the sake of it it'll say like oh like that Los Santos segment of a uh, the entire segment is minus 123 so you'll see the overall segment of how much time you lost in Los Santos and all that. Um, it'll always be there and whatnot. So that's always good. Um, another thing that'll happen as well. So let's say you actually do get a gold. This is a fake gold, of course. And you go to reset. It'll say some of your times you have beaten some of your best times. Do you want to update them? Unless that gold is real. Unless all of your golds are real you don't want to save it. If uh, you press this and you didn't mean to actually reset your timer, timer will keep going, which is good. If this is a fake gold though, you definitely don't want to save that. So you say no. But if all of the golds are real, like you split accurately and all that, there's nothing wrong, you would save it. But otherwise, no. So um, everything's like, you'll see if I go to edit splits, if uh, I save that, this segment, like the best segment, would have been like 30 seconds or whatever it was. But it stays the same because I didn't save it. But uh, generally, you'll know if you're going fast, if you have golds and they're actually real. So, uh, I don't know, that's like the best way that I could explain that. But yeah, let's say I get like a... Let's say I get anything over a 304 big smoke that won't be a gold anything below 304 would be a gold though so uh, my best time is faster than my time like my pb time so yeah there's there's that you want to make sure everything is uh, accurate so you know you're going fast um you can add like comparisons as well um I don't know you can like you can use these like uh, I'm not really gonna go into detail about how to do that but uh, you can add comparisons like import comparisons or whatever so you could like um, use other people's splits and whatnot you can get them off splits.io you can compare your splits against someone else's and you can actually like set it up in a way to where it does something like this um, the fuck is that dude that might be real actually, I don't know. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, um, San Andreas is like a four hour, like four and a half hour game now, so. All of my, all of my uh, best segments combined, this is what you would call, hold on, let's see. Just so you guys can see what this is, because I have like hotkeys and whatnot. So best segments, this is basically telling me if if I was fast enough to get like the same time like the same best segment spot on every single time throughout the entire run I would have a four hour time in the game like this would be my time or lower so uh you can switch between times as well this is my actual PB so this is a 543 compared to what I could have which is almost an hour faster which is legit like I could definitely have this kind of time realistically usually your best segments though or mean that that's as fast as you could possibly go 
Like, the chances of you golding every single split or saving way more time is really unlikely. So the chances of ever coming close to your... Like, that kind of end time is very, very low. So it's, it's somewhere, like, you can get somewhere around that area. Like, I could probably get, like, a 5... Like, for me, I would say I could get, like, a 510 maybe. So that's quite a bit lower than my PB, which is a 543. But it's quite far away from this time as well. So I'm just like trying to give you guys like an understanding of like what this is. Um, you can add like world records, so I'll say what the world record is for any percent. Whatever category you have selected, it'll say what the world record is as long as it's um, on speedrun.com. Um, you can see the current pace, so... Let's say, like, somehow I got 5 second big smoke, which is obviously impossible. It'll say what my current pace is. When I start the timer, it's obviously going to say what my current pace is. It has no information, so it's just going to automatically assume that my current pace is what my PB is. Unless I'm losing time to big smoke, then the time will go up and it'll go from, like, 5.43.53 to, like, 5.44 and so on. But... If I gold or like save time or whatever, it'll lower that time. So now it's a 541, now it's a 539, 536. Just keep going and going and going. The time keeps getting lower. Now we're like sub five hours. So you can kind of see like where I'm going with that. So that's like some more information. Like these timers give you a lot of information and it's fully customizable. You can completely. Um, you can completely customize what you see, like you can take away world record, you can add it, you can add the current pace, you don't have to have it, you can have um, previous segments, all that. The only thing that you really need is the timer, like you take all of this away to be honest, like I could take the title away, I could take the sub splits away, I could take the previous segment, I could take all of this away and all that there will be is just this timer. And, yeah, you can fully customize it to where it's just the timer if you really wanted to. You'll still have the splits and all that, so if you added all that information back, you'd see, like, let's add splits. Now you see, alright, there's, uh, there's splits. That's, like, another thing, is you could put the splits on the bottom or the top. You can put every anything wherever you want. Um... Is the title at information? It's information, right? Yeah. Title. Put it above there. Now you have San Andreas any percent, 52 attempts or whatever, and then you have the timer and all that. Um, just go back to the sub split layout. Definitely don't want to save that. Now everything's back to normal. Um, so yeah, you can add additional info, like you're running on PC, Xbox, whatever it has available. Um, if you're using an emulator, I don't suggest that. You can put using emulator. I don't know if that like pops up. Yes, yeah, it it's PC emulator. So you can really let people know exactly all of the information just using the timer alone. Um... Edit layout, another thing you can do is turn this horizontal. Holy shit, dude. I can't actually, what the fuck? I think, I think it broke. All right, so I have a layout for this kind of thing. It looks like this. Um, but yeah, basically, let's see. You can change it from horizontal or from vertical to horizontal, so this is, whoa, that does not look good. So yeah, this is like specifically made for horizontal. So, uh, it looks like that. Of course, this doesn't look good with subsplits, so what you'd want, um, well actually, it's, let's forget about that, but, uh, Another thing you can do is you can click on your splits and like scroll through them and whatnot. I'll show it on... I'll show this first. Um, what? 
I have with this thing. GTA 5. I have like the splits like this at the bottom. And you can see like the game right here. I'm not gonna like show anything, but uh, if you've watched my stream, you would know what that looks like. So we'll go back to sub split layout. Um, another thing that you can do layout settings, you can add like image. I haven't been able to make this work, which is why I don't do it. And I don't know why it doesn't work. Holy shit, dude. Alright. But yeah, when I add like an image, like this this thing's black, and like I don't get it. I don't know why, but like the image, like you can see the image at the top and all that. But you don't see it here, like it's really weird, I don't get it. Um Whereas if I use this one kinda weird, but uh you can see the... This is like something that I took off the internet, by the way. For, uh... Resident Evil 2. But you can see, like... You can see the image actually shows on the whole thing. But yeah, this is like the image right here. I think it... I don't know, dude. I don't know why that is. I haven't been able to figure out why that happens, to be honest. It might have to do something with the sub splits. I don't really know to be honest. Let's just like check this out for a second. Let's change this to just splits. I don't think that's going to change anything, but. Oh, wait, it did. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. It's weird, now you can see it there. It made it really tiny though for some reason. I don't know why that happened. The hell? Let's try that again. Remove that. Timer gets really small. Splits instead of sub splits. That now it's like really tiny. I don't I don't get that. But yeah, apparently this doesn't work with sub splits. I don't know why that is. It's really weird. But yeah, now you can see the image, which is weird. I don't get that. I don't get why like this is happening either. It's like really, it's not good. <laughs> that is that is not look good. That's all I can say. I'd rather stick to the chroma key method. For uh, this in particular, of course. Um, another thing you can do is go to settings and you can um, set hotkeys, which I would recommend. Um, what I use is F12. I used to use space. I used to use uh, return for this. I used to use backspace for this. I used to use... Uh, I don't even fucking remember the rest of them, to be honest. Um... But I use F12 now and F11, F10 for all of these because uh, the new Vice City any percent, I needed a segmented uh, segmented timer so I could like get the timing down and all that. So I changed it for like PC controls or PC better or whatever. And uh, reset being return was really bad as well because if I wanted to talk in chat I risked uh, resetting my timer unless I use global hotkeys which you can see is right here so like if you were like playing and you turned the global hotkeys like to deactivate all of this then you can like press return and all that it was like really really annoying and it like messed with a lot of things but yeah I would generally recommend you find the start split end split and all that generally like keys that you never use uh, me having start and end split or like anything for f12 is really bad because if i have the steam overlay going then every time i press f12 which would be split it would record a screenshot in steam so 
Yeah, if I start using like, if I start speedrunning speed games, or steam games, I'm gonna have to change that. Or like somehow disable the steam overlay or something for like everything. Um, one thing that you really don't need is to bind pause because pause is just like if you're gonna do like a segmented run because what runs do is what is called RTA which is real time attack if you pause the timer runs are invalid so you can't like take a break and pause the timer if you take a break you have to keep the timer running so literally unless you're doing like a segmented speed run then there's no reason to ever have pause um, have a hotkey. There's no reason to ever use pause, basically. Um, switch comparison is next. Next. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. Warn on reset if better times. That's good in case, uh, you want this on generally because, like, if you get better times, you, like, get fake golds and all that and you reset your timer, it's not gonna ask you if you wanna save it. It's- I'm pretty sure it's just gonna save it. So, it's good to have that turned on. Just in case, like, you don't wanna save it. Um... I don't know what any of these three options do, to be honest. But, uh... The comparisons thing, I have it as, like, page down. So you can see like this is how I switch between best segments and all that. And like I said you can add like someone else's splits so you can go from your PB and then press page down or like switch comparison and it'll switch to the other person's PB so you can see how you're doing against those people. Basically what that hotkey is doing is just using this menu, compare against, so average segments. Apparently, I don't have average segments. Um, the fuck? And uh, switching between three things average, best, and personal best. So it's good to have that as well. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, most streamers don't even run with splits. So let's say, like, add comparison, comparison name, nothing. I don't fucking know, dude. So I can make all of these nothing. This is generally what people do, like, in case, like, they want to do, like, no reset runs, they'll do this. So, now you can see that, uh, now you can see there's nothing. So, you're running, like, you're running against nothing, basically. This is the equivalent of not having splits, but, uh... If you decided you wanted to see how good you were doing, like, you basically just don't want to see, like, red splits and all that. <clears throat> now let's say you wanted to, uh, see how good you were doing because you weren't really paying attention to what your pace was and all that. Now you can switch the splits to your personal best, which would be this, I guess. And, uh, you can see you're saving seven minutes, so. I'll probably end up doing that eventually as well. But, yeah, you can do things like that as well, in case you just don't want to see splits. Um, and then, like, at the end of the run, you could be like, Oh, look, I saved this much time, PB, or... You can be like, Oh, I lost, like, ten minutes, good thing I didn't show splits, kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, that that's kind of a really big trend in speedrunning, especially with, like when uh, people have really good times and they're like good at running then uh, generally they'll generally they'll do that method especially if they just want to finish a run um, let's see this is like a really really long video it's really like me just going over stuff hopefully you guys can stick around can also donate to live split shout out to live split i guess if you feel like donating to them for this really detailed um stuff that they created um but yeah you can also join races through this as well which is through let's see 
what we call a uh, SRL speedruns live can join SRL races through the timer you can see my profile as well so this is speedruns live you can see I put two days 15 hours 34 minutes into it I did a multi GTA race where I finished nine hours and all that. You can put comments and all that. But yeah, you can race in real time against real people and all that. In case you don't know what Speedruns Live is. And uh, it's pretty legit. Um, shows the overall stats. Like, this is the last race I did. Um, and all that. That deserves like a whole nother tutorial, but basically if you have this all figured out for some reason, you can't do it all through this. But you can create a race in this. I'll just show it. Say it's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, any percent. And uh... I don't even know what this is to be honest. Let's create the race just for the fuck of it. I'll say joining channel and then this is the race goal set low percent and all that um, I don't even know what low percent is to be honest and you can do commands like join race dot join and then dot quit and then uh, you can do like dot rematch and all that um, but yeah, you can do races through this. The timer will start automatically. You have to like keep that open and whatnot. Timer will start automatically. Everyone's on real time of, uh, like everyone's timer starts at the same time and all that. You could view it through speedruns live and all that. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'll do a tutorial on how to like set that up as best as possible because it's really, 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 really confusing to be honest. And I'm kind of glad that you only have to do it once. Um, but yeah, you can also like join races through here. So let's say like this is my race that I created. So I could like join it through here and shit. Eventually this will go away as well. Like since there's no entrance and no one's going to join it. After like five minutes of it being idle or whatever, it'll just uh, automatically delete and then it'll remove itself from this list and all that. So that's always good. And uh, if you want to save your layouts, like this is a layout, the title, like how it looks right now. You just save layout and uh, save it as what you want it. Um, and of course... The whole edit splits thing, we can get back to that, I guess. To add a split, it's pretty self-explanatory. Insert below, insert above, you can name the segment, say the level's called shit. And then, uh... Jit. And you can add an icon or whatever just like browses through the thing like the icons let's say that's like a camera so now you can see like there's a they're like they're on the timer now it's like kind of stupid but yeah it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory I feel so there's one other thing I wanted to go over Where is it though? That's my question. Um, I was looking at edit layout. It was actually this. Yeah, so uh, from URL. No, that's not right. From speedrun.com maybe? Alright, so you can browse like. I'm pretty sure this goes through like splits.io and all that. Say Grand Theft. Auto. Let's say you need splits because you don't have any. I think it may have like froze. 
Some of these menus are like really bad sometimes. I don't know why. Alright, there we go. It took a really long time and it like kind of froze as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. It's generally better just to go to like splits.io or something. <laughs> because for whatever reason, like these menus and shit, they freeze up a lot. Um, but yeah, kind of like, there we go, finally, shit dude, I don't know why things like that happen. So you can see through here, any percent all missions, you can probably find mine. Yeah, if I actually uploaded my splits, um, you would see them here, but you can see everyone who's ran all missions, Tyrion, Cyberdates, me. Hugo actually uploaded his splits, so if I wanted to use Hugo's splits, I could download them here, and then, uh, then I could either compare against or whatever, you know. Um, apparently Hugo uploaded splits for 100% as well. So yeah, like, if you want splits, you can do it that way. You just download them, and it's as simple as that. Or if you don't want to deal with that really, really, really bad menu that happens sometimes, you can go to splits.io. I'm pretty sure this is where it gets the information from anyway, but I might be wrong. You can upload your own splits for other people's use as well. So let's say Josh. Let's find like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I wonder if these are even updated. Let's see, what's his PB? 533. Yeah, he did update him. I think? Actually, I don't know. But yeah, then you would go download, and then I'll say for W split, time tracker, splitter Z, live split, earn. You'd obviously pick live split. You'd find it in the folder, you'd open it using live split, and then you're set. And then you can customize live split to whatever you want it to be. And then there you go, you have, uh, you have splits. So yeah, that was an extremely long video. Hope you liked it. Um, I don't know how much more in detail I could go, but if, uh, for whatever reason, you want to know more about, um, more about, uh, Live split, hit me up. This is a really fucking bad time to do this, but <laughs> shout outs to a uh, Discord. Um, you can join my Discord. It's in the description below. All of the information, live split, and all that will be in the description below as well. But uh, if you want, you can join my Discord. It's got some people in it, like myself. Um, some people I do races with, like Disgusting Speedrunner, um, people in the community, some streamers. Um, we have some bots that post when people go live. So if you want to donate on Patreon as well, shout out to Patreon. You can uh, have this tweet out. Say if I get bigger, maybe people actually like pay attention to this. But anytime you go live and you're in the bots, then it'll say that you go live the instant you go live and all that. Um, yeah, we got 32 people offline. Um, we got three people, four people online, so we got like 33 people in the Discord or whatever. I generally talk to about a handful of them, but uh, maybe you could be another person that I talk to. I don't know. Shout out to Discord. It's in the description if you want to join it. And yeah, thanks for watching, hope that was informative, if not, let me know what you would like to see next, and I'll definitely try to go over the whole like racing on SRL thing, because that's a pretty good meme, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, peace.